Hi, my name is Steve Cavalaris for electricaltime.com. So I'm standing in front of my favorite place, Barnes and Nobles. And just so you know, when I need to get away and make those code questions and answers, I try to go to a bookstore like Barnes and Noble, sit down and have a cup of coffee or a cappuccino and write those code questions and answers. And thank you for those people that have donated money so I can afford to go grab a cup of coffee and a little snack as I make these code questions and answers. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very special book and something I'm very proud of. Uh, this is the IAEI. It's called the Analysis of Changes for 2023. And what this book is, it has some of the most significant changes that we have in the National Electrical Code because we all know that every three years, the National Electrical Code has all these changes. They have deletions and it's enough to make us absolutely nuts. I know it makes me nuts when I have to, you know, rethink myself all the time. So one of the code changes that I found in here was 600.5A. And I can't really show you the book, but I'll show it to you from kind of far away. You know, it's got the graphics in here and it's got some pretty neat stuff. It, it talks about the changes, right? And this one, we're talking about 600.5a, and that's for time clocks and similar devices. So what it has here, it talks about the change, whether it's new or if it's the, a deletion or, you know, maybe it changed, right? So maybe it changed or maybe it relocated, right? Then it talks about the change itself. Then it talks about why it happened and then it asks, you know, how will this affect the electrical industry? So it's got all kinds of great information in here. And you can get this book if you go to my website. Uh, I have the link, uh, which you can buy this off if it's an Amazon um, purchase. Uh, go to my website, electricaltime.com, and you'll see a button called IAEI information or books you can click on that and you'll find the link for this book all right so let's go into our code book and let's go take a look at 600.5a and let's go see what those new changes are in our code book okay so we're in the 2023 national electrical code and we're going to be taking a look at 600.5a and that is called required branch circuit. All right, the required branch circuit. And here's what it says. But, you know, definitely make sure you get your code book. You know, buy it from the uh, NFPA, great organization. I think their uh, website link is uh, nfpa.org. Also, check out their link product. It's having the code book. Uh, on your cell phone, it's a digital subscription. Super fantastic. All right, so this is 600.5a, and it's called Required Branch Circuit. And it says each commercial building and each commercial occupancy accessible to pedestrians, those are people, right, shall be provided with at least one outlet in an accessible location at each entrance to the tenant space for sign or outline lighting system use. And if I look behind here, hey, I got a big sign up there called Barnes and Nobles, all right? Probably it's using more than 20 amps and they would supply that with a feeder, all right? So just so we know, we got a feeder and a branch circuit, right? But when we're looking at 600.5a, you know, it's talking about the branch circuit, okay? And then it continues to say, the outlet or the outlets shall be supplied by a branch circuit rated at least 20 amps that supplies no other load. All right, so here's where the clarification came in by code making panel 18. They added two exceptions and those exceptions are identified, hold on, in this book right here, the IAEI analysis of changes, all right? So make sure you go to my website, electricaltime.com. You can go find the link for this book and it's a great book. You really must have um, this book and there'll be some other books that I'll be talking about in the future. Okay, so check this out. We got exception number one. It says a sign or outline lighting outlet shall not be required at entrances for deliveries. Service, service corridors or service hallways 
that are intended to be used only by service personnel or employees. All right, so there's some clarification right there. And then number two, exception number two. It says, the required branch circuit shall be permitted to supply loads directly related to the control of the sign, such as electronic or electromechanical controllers. All right, so not only you know, does that branch circuit that says initially to supply no other loads, but let's say we got that timer, right? There's a little bit of a load in there. It might be using like one volt amp or like five volt amps or 10 volt amps, but essentially it's a load, all right? It is using some type, some amount of wattage. So what this exception does, it says, hey, you know what? If you've got that branch circuit for the sign, it's a 20 amp branch circuit, and it says initially in 600.5a, it shall supply no other loads. That timer, even though it's a load, it's permitted to be allowed to be on that same load for the lighting. All right, so I hope you got something out of this video also. You know, I almost forgot about something. Uh, make sure you go to my website, electricaltime.com, and you can find that I'm, I, I do these free code questions and answers. So make sure you subscribe for my free NEC code questions and answers. And again, it's on my website, electricaltime.com. And guess what? It's free. All right. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you.